so let's uh, begin with the very first lecture on python and uh, before i start with the installation part let's try to understand what are the advantages of python okay so the very first advantage of python is the syntax of python is uh, very easy because the syntax of python is very much similar to english language lot of learners they find python syntax to be what quite easy the second advantage the core advantage what i see is let's take this uh, analogy let's assume i'm building a web application using some other programming language and the number of lines of code written down by me is uh, let's assume somewhere around 30000 lines of code has been written down the same programming when i do it in python the number of lines of code will uh, reduce to 20000 approximately so what you can do in other languages in 10 lines i can say in python you can do that in few lines because the number of lines of code will be less the performance of python is again going to be pretty good now what we can do using python language we can build a web application right so if you want to build a web application like nokri.com flipkart amazon we can do it with what python what is the next usage of python see python is very popular for performing complex mathematical computations which means any software where mathematical computation is very complex in that case the best choice would be using python so let's begin with the installation of python it's very simple and easy all you need to do is if you are on windows operating system just go to search and type python now you see this uh, download option here click on that and once you click on that click here it will take you to what the download page of python okay now under downloads just click here and a dot exe file will get downloaded as i have already downloaded this and it's present in the download section so i would uh, just search for python you see this here double click and once you double click the first window you will see an option where very clearly it is mentioned set the path variable an option set the path variable please check that because i've already installed that i'll not get that option but still let me double click but when you double click you'll get an option what set the path variable and then click on next next and finish now where it gets installed i would uh, show you that little later but once the installation is done all you need to do is now type windows r cmd open this command prompt window and type python version now if you are uh, basically able to see okay hold on version okay so there was a typo so if you are able to see basically the python version currently i'm using the version 3.7.4 which means python is installed successfully so today being the very first okay you know a small series of lecture on python let's look at how do we print my academy name in python Now there are two ways to write python program the option one would be let's open notepad windows plus r and type notepad which is a default editor present in every windows operating system and if you want to print anything in python we just write your print and i want to give the string value pankaj sir academy most of the programming languages what we do is we terminate the statement with a semicolon isn't it that is end of line in python you need not do this okay so how does it know it is end of line end of line in python it means new line what do you mean by new line when i type print 
Pankaj Sir Academy and hit on enter. It is treated as a line is terminated. Okay. So again, if I type print. Okay, you know training. Right, training academy. And then I hit on enter. It means end of line has been what reached. So that's how basically the line terminators are used here. So let's try to save this file. And when I now save this file, I just go with one print statement to begin with. So let me save this file in D drive. Now when you're saving this file, okay, give the extension dot py. If you're writing a Java program, we give it as dot Java. If you are creating a VBScript file, we give it as dot VBS. A text file dot txt for Python, we give it as dot py. And then click on save. So in D drive, I've created a file with the name first prgm dot py. Now to execute this, open command prompt, type python, type python, space, d colon slash, and now give the file name. What's the file name? Dot py. Now the other easiest way of running the python program is, you need not write the program on a notepad. All you need to do is write and that's it. Directly here you can edit your python program. Just type python enter and you get this uh, editor here where you can write your python programs directly. Let's say I want to print my academy name so I'll write print Pankaj Sir Academy and enter. Now there are two ways we give the string values in Python. One in double quotes and the other way of doing that is we can also give it in single quotes. Okay, so if I write Pankaj Sir Academy, it would print the output. So if you now notice, Python is using an interpreter. That's the reason, moment I write every line of the code, it executes that. Because what an interpreter does, it executes the code line by line. So moment I write the code print Pankatsar Academy, hit on enter, it executes and gives me the output. Okay, right? And not only that, the computation here, if you want to do it, it's quite easy and simple. For example, I want to add two numbers. In Python, it's quite easy. Just type 5 plus 5 and enter right that's the reason i said it actually resembles the syntax of english language a lot okay so i'm going to talk about python a lot in my next lecture but i hope the installation part is clear and a very basic program we created okay please do practice try this by yourself thank you